कम्युनिटीज़ के मॉड्यूल में हमने इंटर स्पेसिफिक इंटर स्पेसिफिक कम्पटिशन को मैंशन किया था इंटर स्पेसिफिक इंटर स्पेसिफिक कम्पटिशन इज एक्चुअली द इंटरेक्शन विच आर अकरिंग इन द कम्यूनिटी दिस इज ओनली द वन एग्जाम्पल किसी भी कम्यूनिटी में दो या दो से ज़्यादा जो डिफरेंट पॉपुलेशन एग्जिस्ट करी हैं ऑल दीज पॉपुलेशन दे हैव इंटरेक्शन विद ईच अदर एंड दीज इंटरेक्शन आर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स विच आर कॉल एज इंटर स्पेसिफिक इंटरेक्शन देर आर डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दीज इंटर स्पेसिफिक इंटरेक्शन एंड वन एग्जाम्पल इज हरबी वोरी विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे सो हरबी वोरी इज इट इट इज अ फीडिंग स्ट्रैटेजी और इस फीडिंग स्ट्रैटेजी में हरबी वर्ड्स आर फीडिंग ऑन द प्लांट मटीरियल हरबी वर्ड्स आर द प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स दीज आर द एनिमल्स विच आर यूजिंग द प्लांट मटीरियल एज देयर फूड सोर्स सो अनेटमिकली एंड फिजोलॉजिकली हरबी वर्ड्स आर वेल अडेप्टेड टू ईटिंग प्लांट मटीरियल द म्यूचुअलिस्टिक गट फ्लोरा फॉर एग्जाम्पल दोज बैक्टीरिया विच आर प्रेजेंट इन देयर गट दे आर कैपेबल ऑफ डाइजेस्टिंग द सेलुलोस विच इज द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट मटीरियल एंड इट इट प्लेज एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन एनी फूड चेन एंड फूड वेब फूड चेन और फूड वेब के मॉड्यूल में वी हैव सीन के कोई भी फूड चेन और फूड वेब जब स्टार्ट होता है तो उसका जो प्राइमरी पॉइंट है उसके एवोल्यूशन का या उसके ओरिजिन पॉइंट है दैट ओरिजिन पॉइंट इज प्रोड्यूसर्स सो द प्रोड्यूसर एंड द नेक्स्ट फेज इज हर्बी वोर और प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स तो दीज प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स और द हर्बी वोर्स एंड दर फूड विच इज प्लांट इट प्लेज एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन सस्टेनिंग ऑफ एनी इको सिस्टम हर्बी वोरी एक ऐसी फीडिंग स्ट्रैटेजी है विच कुड बी स्प्लिट इन टू फर्दर डिफरेंट फीडिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड द मेजर स्ट्रैटेजीज आर ग्रेजिंग एंड ब्राउजिंग सो दर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ हर्बी वोर विच आर ग्रेजर्स एंड दर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ हर्बी वोर विच आर ब्राउजर्स फर्स्टली वो डिस्कस द ग्रेजर्स ग्रेजर्स आर दोज एनिमल्स विच फीड ऑन प्लांट मटीरियल सच एज ग्रासेस एंड द सॉफ्ट फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स विच आर कॉल्ड फॉब्स एंड एलगी so basically they are utilizing that group of plants which belong to family poaceae means different grasses but they are feeding on the plants however they are not killing those plants they are eating only the part of the grass the part of the flowering plants and algae so they are leaving rest to replenish itself and sustain the ecosystem deer and snails are the examples of these herbivores in this module but there are several types of herbivores in any ecosystem in this video we see how um, a small snail it feed on the plant material so they have a radula which is called their tongue and it's a saw like structure which with the help of they cut the leaves and then they swallow these leaves by cutting it into small pieces so this is an example of like the really small invertebrate which is a grazer and deer is an other example which is a large vertebrate and it is also a grazer type of grazing so the grazing could be divided into few categories for example uh, graminivory graminivory are those uh, that feeding strategies when the herbivores they are feeding on primarily on grass and they are called as true grasses because they belong to family poaceae which is a grass family horses cattle hippopotamus and grasshoppers are the examples of graminivores let's see the feeding strategy of a hippo which is a big vertebrate but it is a herbivore animal although it's really big but its its food is only the plant and it's not killing all the plants it is eating a part of the plant and leaving rest of the plant to regrow another type of grazing is coprophagy coprophagous herbivores they feed on grass forbs leafy weeds fruits and tree bark and the heavy grazing they do the heavy grazing for half an hour of the grazing period and then they do a half an hour of selective feeding which means ke half an hour ye bilkul like blindly feed kar rahe hain all the plant material which is available in that habitat lekin half half an hour ki um indefinite feeding ke baad they become selective so now they would choose and then they will eat coprophagy may remaining half an hour ki selective feeding ke baad animals they would feed but with intervals so a continuous feeding nahi hai continuous feeding us half an hour ke liye lekin half an hour and then another half an hour of selective feeding and then only the feeding is in form of intervals coprophagous animal ki ek specific characteristic ye hai ki they could feed on 
their own or the other species soft fecal matter because the fecal matter it contains the organic molecules as well so instead of losing or wasting that fecal matter they reutilize it they eat it and they digest it and then they excrete the waste materials rabbit is a common example of coprophagous grazers after grazer the second category is the browsers so the browsers are as the name shows instead of continuously grazing they would browse they would search for their food so they are not feeding on just the grasses rather they feed on non grass plant materials for example leaves soft shoots twigs fruits woody plants such as the shrubs so these animals they they browse their food and they find out these plant materials and utilize it as a food material the examples of uh, browsers are goats deer giraffe and elephants so in this video we could see that a giraffe is not eating abruptly like it's not eating from everywhere it finds out its food which is the leaf of a tree and then it will feed on those leaves only so it is very selective so after browsing after selection they would feed on plant materials but there is a disadvantage of this browsing it could be over browsed the habitat or the available plant material could be over browsed which means that presence of abundance of uh, primary productivity or plants it would attract the herbivores to enter in that habitat and flourish there and resultantly they would over browse example in this image we could see the caterpillars they have eaten the leaves of these plants so this is example of over browsing and that over browsing results in low productivity of native plants because there is a less predation pressure over herbivores but there is more pressure on plants to face the over browsing or to counteract the over browsing plants they have a defense against herbivorous animals so they have a tolerance range they increase or expand their tolerance range or the second strategy is resistance towards herbivores in case of tolerance they they expand or they enhance their capacity to regrow and replenish after grazing or browsing so the leaves the remaining part of leaf shoots they would regrow very fast and they would replenish the over consumed plant materials in case of resistance plants they have either physical or mechanical defense and that physical or mechanical defense could be in the form of thorns hair and resins silica deposits in the cell wall and the resins which make the plants inedible so these thorns and hair and resins which make them mechanically indigestible or inedible it would save the plants from being over consumed by herbivores the one adaptation is the presence of silica in the cell wall of the plants so it makes those cells or that plant material inedible for the herbivores resultantly these plants they save themselves or defend themselves against herbivory the next type of defense against the herbivory is chemical defense in chemical defense plants they release certain compounds for example terpenes phenols alkaloids and these compounds they give them a bitter taste so the herbivores they don't like the taste and they leave them as such so that's how these uh, these plants they they learn uh, they adopt this strategy to survive and protect themselves and other type of um, uh, the chemical compounds which certain species of plants are capable of producing or synthesizing they affect the nervous system of herbivores so they release the compounds which uh, resemble to nicotine or caffeine and they affect the nervous system of the herbivores so resultantly herbivores they don't prefer to eat those plants so these are the defense mechanism of plants against the herbivory